Shalom everyone, this is Shannon again. If you're new, welcome. I, this channel has changed so much and I get on here and chit chat. Okay, so anyway, I used to do tarot and you just have to find my process and go through it. And uh, like I said, it just changed a lot. And now I just, uh, I do a lot of research and things that the Most High sends me to look at and uh, try to help other people who have been duped by a lot of things. Okay, so anyway. We've been talking so much, and I've got so many notes that, um, are, uh, that I, I don't even know where to start. I'm going to go back to, uh, to talking about this teeming energy that I spoke about, uh, I think it was two videos ago. I'll try to bring and put all those down in the description if you want to follow those audios, and please do, and then go, go do your own research, okay, and then listen to the most time what it tells you to do about it. I'm going to talk about these Palladians because these Palladians are, are liars, for one thing. Um, they, they really are connected to, obviously we know that they're connected to the churches. As we were talking about how the book of Revelation states that Christ held the seven cluster of those stars in his hand. Which did they tell us, that that book tells us that the stars were, um, those seven stars are the Palladians, they're the churches. The Palladian cluster here literally does take us back to Teman. There's a scripture that I was reading about um, loosing, who can loose the bands of uh, Orion and, and uh, resist the sweet influences of these Palladians. The, the, no wonder when we read, Paul tells us that when... Jacob and Esau was in the womb that it stated that uh, God hated Esau. Well, these Palladians go back to, well, he's, he obviously has had, the, he, he came from Teman. When you do your research on this, literally, I just was literally looking at the root of all this stuff. It really does take you back to the Palladians. The, that star cluster is connected to Teman where Esau can be found, okay? And these Palladians go back to binding you up in conspiracy with these groups. It, it all was right there. It literally was all right there. So let's look at this. Um, to bind something meant to tie. Well, first of all, we, we do have Christ telling us that unless you bind the strong man for he talks about the the strong man being bound the, all this stuff goes back to these palladians energies okay whatever their purpose has been here to come on the earth to, to pe obviously people want to control the, the earth and they want to you know it's it they're, they're okay go actually what's going through my my uh um spirit right now is star wars these wars going on in the heavens. We already know that there was war in heaven. Okay, but they brought it right down here in the earth realm for us to have to deal with now. And it's all told to us, and it really is playing out. And what are we all going to do about it? Okay, you people who are in these groups that have been duped by these Palladians that we were talking about by this uh, Musterion word of mystery. It literally does go back. It's iniquity. It's connected to that iniquity that we were talking about. And they bound your tongue. This word bind literally is um, a word that says physically to tie or mentally to tie you up because they're spiritual beings. Okay? Okay. Let's look at that Musterion energy again. Let's touch on it a, a quick again. That eighth house also does take you back to transformers, transformative energies. We, they walk among us. They look like us. They can take form like us. It's beyond us. Okay, it really is beyond us. But they really are here. And uh, like we were talking about the other day, the scripture says that you're a fool if you say that there is no Elohim, God's goddesses and angels. These things exist. Okay. And um, that's why the book of Amos does tell us to seek the one who created these, these the Palladians and Orion. we got to seek the one who created it. Because who can bind them up? 
especially if you're just mere human on the earth, uh, they obviously have powers within them, okay? So to bind something literally went to be physically bound. You have took some type of an oath or they swayed you into something to do something in these groups, then there you go. You know who's behind this, the Palladians, okay? So people have been literally physically and mentally bound up and it went back to in love. Okay, they're really, they're sweet. They're really sweet. Look, people, we ain't to be, we're supposed to be even. Okay, somebody come after you and you got some kind of little check on the inside so something's just not right about this. You better not ignore that stuff. Because the, 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 this all goes back to demon type energy that has fallen into the earth that, that wants to bind you up. Now, Christ tells us that whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Who's he talking to? Is he talking to the church that's, in, that's uh, within this league of um, spiritual beings that exist? Uh, uh, who knows entirely? Uh, you really need to seek the one who created all this stuff. We absolutely do know they're here in the earth. They, they're fallen entities. This word bind went back to conspire. Well, the book of Isaiah tells us to the law and to the testimony. If you speak not according to this word is because there is no light in, in you. Okay. The, 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 um, the law is to listen to the voice of the most high. Okay, we already went over the law and what they did it, it, with it, and they conspired within that so that they could eat and bind you up. And if you say anything, we cut your tongue out, and then you're gone, and whatever to consume you. And um, this is huge. This meant to bind. That word literally went back to joining together and knitting. Knit. Look, how many times did we have words come out on the table? Um, or something to the effect, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about, uh, I did a reading one day, and we had uh, something that was, um, uh, I, I don't remember how I worded it on one of the readings, but it was talking about somebody had some kind of a, a tool of some kind that, that was inside of a basket. Um, I don't know that I called it a knitting tool, but it was something similar to that. This literally went back to knit. Now, uh, this means to... Well, the word just is knit here. That's what's coming through my spirit. Um, Jeez. This literally went to treason, this word, and to work and to be stronger. The, 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 the strong man binds, right? Who can bind the strong man? Who can, who can loose the, um, the tie or the sash or the conspiracy? The, the word went to conspiracy with the word conspire went back to that sash who was wearing a sash in the book of revelation it said christ wore a sash that went across him okay also at the same time we do know that christ is Ye is jehovah he is the anointed one as well okay that's why we're told to seek the one who created these the Orion and uh, the Palladians and all the stuff. So anyway, the 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 word conspire itself literally went to a tie or a sash, and was related to conspiring things. And um, a headband was also connected with that. Uh, the sweet influences, when I trace that back, the word was ma, M-A. Um, I don't know, I'm probably going to chop this up. Ma, ma adana, ma adana, but the ma is there. It meant a bond or a group as well. Okay, all of it's all bound together anyway. Um, the word palladians was ki ma. And so you do find the ma there. Well, no wonder we want to get rid of these things. Absolutely get rid of these things. Um, it meant to store away. It meant a jewel as well. And it says probably gold beads. When that, when I was reading that, gold beads are really, um, I can't remember. the. In Louisiana, they have, uh, I can't remember the, the 
big party that they have but they wear all them beads around their necks and stuff like that and they group together and um anyway that's what that that ran through my spirit when i uh, read probably gold beads when it was in the parentheses of being related to the chemo the palladians um The word loose, obviously we know what loose means, to loosen something. It also went to, to the word plow. Well, we, we know we're in the harvest energy. That plow, uh, which is this <laughs> amazing divine just gave me an aha moment. The, the, remember the seventh letter of the Hebrew is the plow. And it's a number seven attached to it, the harvest. And we're talking about seven clusters of stars. It's the sign. That's amazing. We know everything is knitted together. This is ridiculous. These things think that they're going to try to dupe you and I. And they're just not. When you and I will search for the one who created that, well, then Jehovah can loose their bands. That's why now it makes sense to know that in the New Testament um, uh, was talking about how they were fighting over Moses' body and uh, Archangel Michael said, uh, uh, Jehovah rebuke you. Because only Jehovah can loose these things that have bound people up. Amazing to me. Um, so this word loose had the word plow attached to it. It also had the word carve, to carve something. You know, the divine's always talking about how he hates graven images. He hates that. Well, because these things, these fallen entities, they're connected to that stuff. They're trying, they're connected to devil-like energy to try to bind people up. It's ridiculous. Um, it meant the, to loose, meant to break forth or to draw out or to let go free. It also was attached to the grave as well. That's interesting. To ungird something or to unstop or to have vent. <laughs> the word bands, uh, obviously goes back to chords and it also meant to something that's drawing a chord we have scriptures about actually I think it's in Hosea we're uh, um, reading how I think it says that there's Jehovah speaking how he he drew them with chords of men I think is what how it's worded in that um portion of how he was drawing his people he used chords of men um very interesting this book that has been put together that we call a bible let's look and i've actually done video on this before as well the word bible the b-i-b-l-e well we have the word l-e is god goddesses and angels plural and then we've got the bib there. A bib. You put your bib on to eat. We've got all kinds of stuff about consuming. Consumption. Eating. The word Orion. Let's just move on. The word Orion here. Obviously, it, all this is constellations. But as above, so below is what we're taught. Okay. Um, it specifically went back to meaning a, 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 a notable constellation is what it said. Any noble, notable constellation is actually what uh, the concordance stated. But it says specifically Orion as if a burly one. That's interesting. A burly one. This Orion actually is what took us back to Teman. It went to Kadar. Um, I guess that's how you would pronounce it, Kodir, whatever. It meant an apartment or a bed or a chamber. Um, actually, did that go back to Orion? Uh, yes, I believe it was. Um, yeah, I got a little arrow here. I think I was looking up the word chamber, but it was connected to the link of Orion. 
I, I wish I would have wrote that down. I, I was getting really frustrated at what I was uh, viewing here because a lot of people have really been duped and, and, and have been sworn to secrecy from this mystery of iniquity. Well, it ain't no mystery anymore. Look, let's look at the eighth house again. Okay? Because we do have the south attached to this mystery stuff and these groups attached to the Palladians and binding and loosing with Orion and these bands and sashes and all this stupid stuff going on. That eighth house also, it, we're told, uh, it's, it's, it's like a magnet, right? Something that will draw you in. It's sexual drawing in. It also goes back to children and the psychology of people's minds and stuff like that. It's a mysterious house. It goes back to our money and people's property. And people, a lot of people are being duped by this stuff. Okay? It, but this energy does have a meaning of things having to come to the surface and letting something go. And only Jehovah can make that come to the surface. Okay? Um... But this does go back to religious rites. Remember, it said that this um, Moose Terion stuff went back to being silent by the initiation of religious rites. Look, people, these th these are entities. You don't belong to the the, the... the devil's a liar, for one thing. So if you've been lied to, are you really... Uh, bound if it was a lie in the first place I've actually brought that out before let's look at that um, devil card again okay the devil card shows two people have chains upon them chains well we just read here beads gold beads okay that jewels and stuff like that we know the devil energy will take you back to flashy things bank systems, groups, all that goes back to um, the lender and the buyer. All of it really is working together. It's all knitted together, knitting a web. Oh, what a tangled web we weave. That energy, you look at that picture that they, they give you for the devil, which is a hairy, beasty energy that was just going back to Orion and took you back to um, a burly one, takes you back into the, the root of that to something in the south. And we just spoke about that last night, the south side or being on the right side. It literally, the word was teeming or timing. Like I said, when I looked at that word, the first thing that came through my spirit was tie a man. You people have been duped. You're really not. Uh, the devil's a liar, first of all. And these people who are sitting there going, what have I done? And you really do have something down inside your heart that wants to be broken free. But now you've been in your mind. That band that has been around the, the, the mind itself is exactly what it's stated here. Not just a sash or a tie, but it also meant mentally being tied up. Oh my God, if I do this, I'll lose my tongue. I'll lose this, or I can't tie, your tongue's tied. Are you? That picture shows the chains around people's neck, but they really aren't, they're loose. It's a lie. You're not chained. Call out to Jehovah. He said, all those who call out to me shall be saved. I told you today you make a way where there seems to be no way. He's one that created this stuff. That's been for your testing. That's been for your testing. People perish for lack of knowledge about a thing. Okay? They got these groups together. The group, a whole group of people so that they can consume groups of people in their lives so that they can rule the world. Star Wars. People need to get up in these groups and say, uh-uh. And attack this enemy by way of Jehovah directing. Okay? Um, this powerful. Really powerful. So the Bib God book. But if you don't read it, then you're screwed. But there's answers in here for you. Remember to loose mint. To have a vent. To be able to vent something. To loose yourself. Loose yourself. Actually, we got scripture talking about um, 
I, I believe he's talking to the daughter of Zion. And he's telling the daughter of Zion to loose yourself. Okay? You are loose by way of having knowledge of something. You're really not bound. The devil is a liar. And a lie is a lie is a lie. Take back your life. Call out to the one who created those clusters and bands and stars and sashes and chains and jewels and inner chambers and Esau. Go patty cake. The the moo, the the uh, cow who now we understand why he was cursed. And now we do understand, like I was starting to say at the beginning of this video, why Paul said that that um that God hated him. Okay, he saw down in his heart, even in the womb, what he was and where he came from and the mixture of those genes that were found within the same womb where Jacob was found. It's, 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 uh, it's amazing to me. It really is. It, it's really amazing to me. Uh, walk away from this stuff, people. Look, you got people come up to you, like I said earlier, and trying to persuade you to go, oh, we're getting with the group over here. You want to go? Nah, I'm not, I'm not interested. And then they want to harp on you. Oh, no, come on, let's go. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. But you really, something in you don't want to go? You need to follow what, what's going on on the inside of you. Okay? Like I said, these the people look like you and I. Okay? Don't let anybody persuade you. You don't move right on ahead until you hear the divine say, no, go ahead and go, or don't go, or you listen to the voice, like you said. Loose yourself. The devil's a liar. Shalom.